Okay, this video is just to demonstrate um, the remote diagnosis um, of GOLO. The GOLO is operational and um, this is just a short demonstration of what could be happening in the future. The workshops will be able to give better service uh, to the end user, the car owner, and the car owner has more in touch to the actual workshop itself. Now, with to get this to work, uh, remote diagnosis, they have to be friends, uh, so they have to share the contact information. So the contact information uh, has to be exchanged. And when the car owner has a problem, uh, the light comes up on the dash of the car, it's simply the car owner has to go to the car. If he's not interested in the fault, he just wants his workshop to look after it and wants to see if the workshop is online, he simply just goes to remote diagnosis. It will look for the technician that is um, able to do it. He will be able to select the technician and then send a message to that technician to see if he's online. So I'll just send a short hi and it actually indicates on the pro. So the technician might be on another vehicle but the indicator will come here. He will go to the message area and notice, oh there's one from Golo and he can then say hi to exchange back to say yes I'm online. The message appears back here. Now all it needs to happen now is that the car owner then hits the plus area and goes directly to remote and then I gives me permission to take over his car. So I accept the remote diagnosis. You can see it changing. It set up the menu so they're both the same. And then I go into the area of the vehicle. So this is how Hyundai gets. So Hyundai gets. And at the same time you can see the screen is message is split. It's the same as the Pro. The Pro is actually split so I can instruct him to do something if I need to do something, RPM increase or something like that. So to look at the fault codes and so forth, I select the year model, the engine family, and what module I'm going to go into. You can see it's the same on the phone. The end user doesn't have any control. He can actually um, cause problems. So we go into control. We can select the red codes, and you can see there's a communication problem with this vehicle. So, the light might have came up on the dash or something, it's present. So, now I can actually clear that fault remotely. I don't have to do anything to the customer. Um, we get him in the workshop, it might appear again. So, this is a simple fix. So, I can then go back and I just clear the fault code. Yes, I want to clear it. The code has been cleared. So now if I go back, I will have no codes. So there's no codes. So now, also I can actually look at some of the data streams. So if I wanted to see the coolant, the temperature, if that's okay and everything, the battery level. So I can select a few little items um, and just view them, for instance. And see if it is running. Because I'm looking at the car, I don't know whether it's running or anything like that. Um, if the fans are operating, so I can select even the injector in duration. So we can see if the fans are operating. Um, let's have a look at something that. Uh, Uh, the engine speeds as you see if it is running. So I go into data stream and you can see the live data. Now this is live data. Okay, you can see that there's 12 volts. It is running. The fans just cut off itself so they know the coolant is right on the vehicle. So I've gave it a general check on the condition of the vehicle. It's not overheating, it doesn't look like. The fans will cut in and out. At the same time, I can also graph this bit of information so I can select the three ones I can graph and look at it in a graph form. 
So while the car is actually running, I can see it in a graph form, even a combined graph. So um, it gives me some sort of indication a little bit better what's going on with the car itself, and the temperatures and so forth. After I've completed this, um, I can actually then notify the customer so it's all good. And I can speak if I wanted to. I can hit the hot button here and actually speak to him. I don't have to type if I don't want to type. Or I can send a message directly like that. All good. It'll receive it to the phone itself. So he'll see it here. All good. Or voice can be applied. So test completed. So it'll send a message directly to the Golo and then he'll be able to play it back over. And it works via the Bluetooth on the phone too. So if he's got the phone linked to Bluetooth, it actually will give the message over the phone. So after the completion of um, the diagnosis, the fault's been cleared, I can then give a report. So by double ending the session, double click, I can quit. He has to rate me if I've done the right thing. He can do that on any time. So I can quit. This is the report that is generated. I can then fill it in and let him know that um, you know the fault was clear um, on this date. Okay, cleared. And um, then I can then send that report to him. So he can rate me. Um, I can then generate the port after it's done and then send it. He will receive the report um, and what I've said down here and this is kept as a record. So now the report will appear here um, and then you can see the report and my comments down here. So that's the end of the diagnosis and then I can carry on with my day-to-day -day business. So that's a little bit about the remote diagnosis of Golo 1 and Golo 3.